Hello people of YouTube, um, or should I say hello fellow makeup artists. Um, this video is directed, no, well, no, it's pretty much directed to anybody. Um, if you're interested in makeup or you just want to find some really great deals on makeup. Today I went to the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And as you've seen from some of my other videos, I do a lot of special effects makeup. Um, which was really what I was going there for, but I ended up buying a whole bunch of stuff and I ended up finding, um, <clears throat> no, not finding, seeing some really cool demonstrations. Um, I watched one with life casting, another one with old age makeup. I mean, those are the only two that I really went to. Um, it is for two days, so, and they're not sold out yet for Sunday, so if anybody watches this video and is like, wow, um, so I'm gonna be showing you some of the stuff I got. So if it, it probably will be coming around next year, I know this the one I went to is in New York. So that's the closest, which still isn't that close. It's like three hours away. Um, and there's another one, in Vancouver. Um, blah, 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 blah. Can we do that? I'm actually looking up for you people. Ooh. There we go. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Sydney, Toronto, even London. So if you guys are in those areas. So far, the one in New York is the only one I've been to. Um, anyway, and it was really, really awesome. Like, I got to talk to so many people who do makeup. I might actually even try getting into beauty makeup now, because, you know, it's always good to have both things under your belt. Not You can be specialized in one thing, but you gotta try and broaden your horizons, which I really want to do. After seeing some of the makeup, it wasn't like, like basic, like, here, you put eyeshadow this part of your lid, and then this part of your brow bone, blah blah blah, stuff like that. It was more like like avant-garde fashion makeup. That's that's it was so awesome. I saw the um student <clears throat> student competition for um fantasy makeup, which uh the theme was I think animal something animal kingdom or something. So there was a lot of really, really cool ones. Um there. Tomorrow is the prosthetic convention. Uh, competition, which I would love to see, but the two speakers I really wanted to see were today, and they were my main focus, and still, the competition I saw today was phenomenal. So I'm going to show you some of the awesome stuff you can get there, so try keeping a lookout for it when it comes around next year if you live near New York, or any of the places I named, like Los Angeles, Sydney, um, Toronto, anywhere, keep a lookout for it. Even if you, like, aren't a makeup artist and you just want to get stuff, they have so much stuff, and it's marked some of the stuff is still expensive, but it's marked down from stuff when you buy on the internet. So, here's some of the stuff I got. Uh, okay. What was the name of that one company? Oh my god. Let's see. Ah, here. Couldn't get out there. Okay. Got this from Alco. They have such a broad selection of stuff. Um, I'm just starting to work with silicone, so I was able to get this stuff. Third degree, yeah, it's for ultimate injury simulation. Basically, it's a two-part silicone. It comes in two parts, and you mix it, and it's to be applied right to the skin. It's not you don't have to heat it for it to cure or anything. I've seen people do some really cool stuff with it, so this is gonna be totally awesome. Um, they don't just sell like stuff like this. They didn't have a lot of this section, but they had the alcohol-activated makeup um, palettes. They had this. They had Fleet Street Blood, um, which is amazing. I have a bottle of that. It's like liquid gold to me. But it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, and they have their catalog, as you can see. They go from glamour to the back. Br they had lots of brushes. Main thing, big seller, was brushes, which I got an amazing kit, which I'll show you later. Um, another one I got a lot of stuff from... From the Sidoro. They had tons of lashes. These have the little bits of green in it. I don't know if you can tell. And then I got these. I have another pair. I figure if I ever do fashion makeup, I want some big lashes. Or if I just want to fucking go outside one day with these, I actually probably will wear these in public and not give a care. Sell a piece of two. Because I need that. Then they also, they sold, the best thing about these, these were $2.50, actually no, these were $2 per, 
per lashes or you could buy like 12 for 24 bucks and I saw girls taking advantage of that. I don't wear fake lashes. I have decently long lashes as it is. And I'm even not fond of them in general but and then they also have these really awesome you know how Sally Hansen has these? They have these. They sold these as well. Um, the upside about these is that they have 20 sheets in them for different nail sizes, so you don't have to cut them as much as the Sally Hansen ones. Um, it was three for ten dollars, but the woman apparently liked me, so. So, yeah, these were the ones I got, and the woman saw I liked the skull one, so she gave me this one for free. So, maybe if you're lucky, you get four. <laughs> And she was telling me these, like, the ones she's had on have lasted her, like, a month and a half. Well, the ones on her nails. The ones on her toes she had to change. But they still last a really long time, and I'm really stoked to try these out. I mean, they had so many. These are so cute. It's got chocolate. The skull ones, um, if they have diamonds in them, though, they recommend putting a clear coat over top of them so the stones don't fall out. And these were really just psychedelic, and then I like skulls. Okay. I should probably... Okay. Um, and a, the biggest booth there, next to, uh, began with an I, was, this is another booth, um, next, was, I will tell you now, I didn't buy anything from there until the end of the day, just because the line was so long. That was ridiculous. But they have a lot of good stuff, like, I got this really nice... I can I'm I can rock a decent purple lipstick and I really don't want to buy like manic panics. There's is good but it gets really cakey. And I mean this stuff lasts like I've washed my hands four times today. Yeah, these are my battle scars from testing different lip colors out. And it's I wash my hands like four times today to use hand sanitizer. I am a bit of a home I am a germaphobe with like certain things. I hate public bathrooms. <laughs> so I've like washed it and it's still on there. So it's really good. Um, I also got a really nice foundation. I am pale, as you can see. This, this camera's actually, uh, this is how pale I am. But I got a really nice. Mm, I can open it and show you guys. Here we go. Push button. There you go. I got a really nice powder foundation. I put it on. It was really good. Um. So yeah, they have. They have so much stuff there. They have like lip glosses, so many eyeshadow palettes, regular single eyeshadows. Um, this was, I know, this was a powder, powder, powder foundations were a little bit more expensive. These were seven dollars. Um, like with their liquid foundation was like five, I think. But this had more, so that's why I went with this one. Lipstick was four bucks. Um, their lip glosses were around three. I remember. They also had a lot of body, like the shimmery eyeshadow stuff. I actually wanted to get one, but. I never wear that stuff. Even with makeup, I couldn't think of... I tried processing makeup things I could do in my head while I was looking. So, um, let's see. What else did I get? Okay. Then from Wolf Face Art, I got this sponge thing. The woman actually gave this to me. <laughs> I got a water-activated pigment with neon colors. I'm doing a play with 80 stuff, so I figured this will help. And I have some, uh, you know, my cyber locks. I want to do cyber makeup, so boom! And I got a brush with that, which you will see later. Um, I got brush cleaner because I have none from. Let me get this one. Morphe, I think. Yeah. Um. Oh. Now this was my biggest thing. I got this from CC's Fashion Brushes. There were several brush booths, but I am on a very, very tight, not very tight, but pretty tight budget. And I wanted to get a really, really good brush kit. And they had, um, Belgium, some, there was a Japanese one, which their brushes probably are really good, but a wee bit expensive. And they didn't sell kits. Um, beginners with a B, Belgium, spell it, Delium tools? I don't know, but they had some really nice stuff, but still, it was like seven piece kit for 35, so I was like, oh, okay. It was probably really good quality brushes, but I found this other one, CC's Fashion Brushes, and they had the most bang for the buck. This is a 19 piece brush set, if I can hold it up without it 
totally collapsing. This is my 19 piece brush set. Um, it was sable and goat. You can see all the sizes that come with it. It comes with a groomer, lots of powder brushes. I just wanted a really nice, diverse brush kit, and I got it. Um, this was around 30, yeah, 35. Um, and this was my brush I got from Wolf FX just for, I need a thin brush, that's it. But yeah, this was definitely a really good buy. I can't, I can't wait to break these puppies in, honestly. Some girls get excited about iPhones, I get excited about brushes. And then my final thing, which um, was from the guy who taught the life casting thing, was, I think, he seems to be very understanding if you are a beginner. I haven't done full molds or anything. So I talked to him, asked him what was the best stuff, and he said to start out for making, like, molds of anything. So basic, like, hands. And then maybe moving on to the double packs. I have everything written down. Like, I was walking around with a notepad. I think I ticked off one of the vendors because he saw I had, like, five people's names already down. And then he said I was very pale. Um, body double. Platinum silicone. That's what it was. Body double. And I wanted to get some of that. They had the kits there. They also had a silicone um, wound simulation, which is similar to this stuff. And it had pigments and colors. It looked really great. So I was going to get one of those. But um, talk to me about for mold making. Because you want to really start out with, like, the basics. And so he gave me this giant thing of alginate. for free. <laughs> that was awesome. I was like, oh crap, he's gonna say how much it is. It's gonna be like 50 bucks. He's like, here, take this. Take my card. We have classes. I'm like, awesome. So I'm not, I can't guarantee if you're gonna get stuff for free, but I think maybe if you tell him you're a beginner, you might. But don't go lying. Come on, if you're like really, really amazing and you're like, oh, I want free alginate, I'm a beginner. This guy was really cool and really fun. So, yeah. Yeah, this stuff looks really great to use. Um, his demo was really good. So if you're looking into life casting, definitely get the, um, what was the company? Smooth on stuff. Cause that looked really great. And I'm, I can't wait to try this stuff out. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my IMAT experience. I'm sad though, I didn't get a t-shirt. I wanted to get a t-shirt and I forgot to grab it when I saw it, when it was there. And I walked around and was like, oh, I can get a t-shirt later. I had like two left and they were extra large, I was sad. But oh well. I got all this stuff and I got a whole bunch of bags and papers. There's a lot of like makeup schools there, like Vancouver Film School, which I am looking into. Um, I'm going to their workshop in July, I'm so stoked. Um, there's that, there's Cosmics. Um, What was the other one? Oh, mud? Yeah. This one. They have makeup, they sell makeup, and then they also have a booth for their stuff. Um, so if you're in Vancouver Film School, up in Canada, um, mud is in New York, um, and then Cosmics is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's a 10 week course, they said. Um, Vancouver Film School is a year course. But it so far looks really intensive. I can't really give it a full review yet, but until I go for the workshop, which is going to be totally awesome. Um, <clears throat> anyways, that was my iMAT experience, so I recommend it to anybody, really. If you want to see amazing makeup from the competitions, or get a whole bunch of awesome makeup, or listen to really great speakers, go. Like, if you have nothing to do on Sunday and you live near New York, New York go to it. It's at Pier 94. I sound like a total advertisement for it, but anyway, no, I've seen other videos for it already, so I was like, well, what the heck? So yeah, definitely check it out. It was awesome. It was fun. Um, talk to some really cool people. A lot of the people at the vendors are, yeah, they're trying to make you buy their products, but they're real, a lot, like, they were pretty friendly. There was one or two that was like, and they saw me writing stuff down. I said, oh, I might be back later. Mm -hmm. Sure, kid. Yeah. A lot of them, a lot of, you can test out a lot of their products. There were a lot of makeup booths um so that would do your makeup i know uh, eye pearl eye candy then there was like the funky face painting glitter 
stuff they had, and then they had this one booth that all they had was like glitter liquid liners, and they do your eyes up and stuff. <coughs> and there was a lot of um, pigment ones with body painting. There was also suntan booths. Yes, there were chicks in bikinis. So, that might be an excuse for guys to go. Anyway, so that was my IMAX experience. I recommend it to anybody. Seriously, go check it out. If it comes near you, go to it because you won't be disappointed. See ya!